the most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little, but some day the piecing together of dissociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality and of our frightful position therein that we shall either go mad from the revelation or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. There had been eons when other things roared on the earth and they had great cities. Remains of them were still to be found as Cyclopean stones on islands in the Pacific. They all died vast epochs of time before man came. But there were arts which could revive them when the stars had come round again to the right positions in the cycle of eternity. These great old ones were not composed altogether of flesh and blood. They had shape, but that shape was not made of matter. When the stars were right, they could plunge from world to world through the sky. But when the stars were wrong, they could not live. But although they no longer lived, they would never really die. They all lay in stone houses in their great city of Erlier, preserved by the spells of mighty Cthulhu for a glorious resurrection when the stars and the earth might once more be ready for them. Even now they talked in their tombs. When, after infinities of chaos, the first men came, the great old ones spoke to the sensitive among them by moulding their dreams. Then those first men formed the cult around small idols which the great ones showed them. Idols brought in dim eras from dark stars. That cult would never die till the stars came right again and the secret priests would take great Cthulhu from his tomb to revive his subjects and resume his rule of the world. The time would be easy to know for then mankind would have become as the great old ones, free and wild and beyond good and evil, with laws and morals thrown aside and all men shouting and killing and reveling in joy. Then the liberated old ones would teach them new ways to shout and kill and revel and enjoy. And all the earth would flame with a holocaust of ecstasy and freedom. <laughs>